Unmanned aerial vehicles or drones could be used to help people affected by natural disasters, thanks to new Queensland research. Scientists have also found ways for the aircraft to avoid crashes and land safely on their own, which could encourage regulators to allow their use in more populated areas. This is the first emergency landing a small unmanned aircraft has ever made on its own, choosing a site and touching down after a simulated engine failure. The breakthrough is one of the things Queensland researchers hope will allow the drones to be used more widely and safely. We're likely to see quite a number of changes uh, with the regulations and it'll start making some of these commercial applications more viable. One focus of the research has been on allowing unmanned aircraft to be used when natural disasters hit. If we could use unmanned aircraft as multiple eyes in the sky and uh, detect people uh, that are in trouble and that way the manned assets can come in and target their response. Improvements in technology have led to a boom in drone business with more than 150 commercial operators in Australia. Model aircraft flying has been around for some time, but it's only recently that an increasing number of people are realising the commercial applications of this technology. The aircraft and licensed operators are now in demand for farming, mining and infrastructure work. That's created a need for specialist training and licensing. We were the first country in the world to create regulations which could be used for the operation of unmanned aircraft in the commercial space and so therefore there was a need to develop things such as this course. Other countries are now looking to Australia as they seek to regulate the growing industry. There's a lot of uh, people bringing in uh, remote helicopters and also wanting to do uh, a bit of uh, UAV flying so we need to police it. Some of Australia's commercial drone laws will change in the coming months, others in the next few years. Eric Torchek, ABC News.